Welcome to a product demonstration video by Gigahertz Optic. Gigahertz Optic offers solutions for measurement of light and measurement with light. In this video, we introduce a measurement system called TFCT25. TFCT25 stands for Total Flux, Color and Transmission. The system consists of a 25 cm integrating sphere, one of our spectral radiometers, the BTS 2048VL Tech, and an electronic device as power supply. This system is an example of a measurement system which uses light in order to measure transmission properties of materials, light guides to be more specific. Light guides are widely used in scientific applications like laser-based systems. Recently, they are also implemented in automotive applications like car headlights. They can be designed in exciting shapes and thus define which impression the look of a car makes. However, there are additional aspects which are important in light guide design for automotive applications. The material composition of a light guide has influences on its transmission properties. If a perfect composition is found, light enters the light guide at one end, transmits through it and reaches the second end while keeping its spectral properties. This means that light entering and exiting the light guide has not changed its color. Such a perfect material composition, however, is challenging to find. In reality, very often a yellow shift occurs. White light enters the light guide and experiences a color shift towards a more yellowish color during transmission. This leads to a different color impression when comparing the light entering and exiting the light guide. In automotive applications, the maximum color shift is limited. It may only reach such an extent that the human eye is not able to distinguish light colors at both light guide extremities. For this reason, a measurement system is required, which allows the precise measurement of light colors before and after transmission through a light guide. Gigahertz Optic has developed the TFCT25 transmission measurement setup with one main application in mind, the measurement of a light guide's transmission properties. A number of elements are required in order to fulfill this task. A high-resolution spectral radiometer, the BTS 2048VL Tech, is able to measure the spectral properties, luminous flux and color of a light source. Since light sources and light guides come in many different shapes, an integrating sphere is required which collects the emitted light. Exchangeable apertures allow the creation of tailored fittings for each light source and light guide shape. Light sources need power to function. Therefore, the TFCT25 also includes a power supply. Its triggering function allows the emission of short light pulses and their synchronized measurement via the spectral radiometer. Sample holders with magnetic bases allow the flexible positioning of light guides with complex shapes while still allowing their stable fixture. A magnetic steel tabletop is recommended for their use. The measurement of a light guide's transmission properties consists of two measurements. First, the light is measured, which a light source sends through the light guide. Typically, LED-based light sources are used for this purpose. In the second measurement, the light is measured when exiting the light guide. Comparing these two measurements gives information about the color shift during transmission. Therefore, a series of five simple steps needs to be conducted. Preliminary measurement – self-absorption correction of LED light source. Preliminary measurement – self-absorption correction of light guide. Measurement of light emitted by LED. Measurement of light after transmission through light guide. Data evaluation as mentioned before, precise fittings for light sources and light guides are required. These fittings are mounted as covers onto the integrating sphere. However, each fitting introduces individual changes of the light distribution inside the integrating sphere. This could lead to influences on each following measurement and include measurement errors. 
in order to avoid those, self-absorption correction needs to be determined beforehand for each aperture. In order to determine the self-absorption correction factor of your LED light source while mounted to the integrating sphere, the measurement system's built-in auxiliary lamp is switched on. It illuminates the integrating sphere from the inside. A comparative measurement is conducted, which records the system's calibrated base state first. The integrating sphere is not equipped with an aperture and all light from the inside escapes through the sphere's measurement port. Then the cover for your LED light source is mounted to the sphere and the light source is placed in front while being switched off. Like so, the influence of the light source and cover on the light distribution inside the sphere is determined and stored to your PC's hard disk drive for later use. The determination of the self-absorption correction factor of your light guide is measured in the same way like presented in the first preliminary measurement for the LED light source. First, the integrating sphere's calibrated base state is measured. Afterwards, the cover for your light guide is mounted to the integrating sphere and the light guide is placed in front of it. A new self-absorption correction factor is determined, which contains the influence of the light guide and cover on the light distribution inside the integrating sphere. Now the auxiliary lamp is switched off and the actual measurement of your light guide's transmission properties begins. The light source's emission is measured by mounting the correct aperture cover to the integrating sphere and placing the LED in front of it. The LED is switched on and emits a short light pulse. The measurement is conducted while taking the self-absorption correction factor into account, which was measured during the first preliminary measurement. Like so, we measure the properties of light before it enters the light guide. The light after transmission through the light guide is measured by mounting the correct aperture cover to the integrating sphere. Then the light guide is mounted in front of it with the LED light source attached to its second end. The LED is switched on to emit another short light pulse and the measurement is conducted. Here, the self-absorption correction factor is taken into account, which was determined for the light guide in the second preliminary measurement. Like so, we measure the properties of light after exiting the light guide. This gives us all necessary information in order to determine the light guide's transmission properties and its influence on the light color during transmission. The final step is the comparison of both measurements in steps 4 and 5. We determined the properties of light when it entered the light guide and we determined its properties after transmission through the light guide. Comparing both gives information about the light guide's transmittance as well as the color shift delta X and delta Y. These are the basis for quality control and regulation of production processes. We have seen how the measurement of a light guide's transmission properties works using the TFCT25 setup by Gigahertz Optic. The setup enabled the measurement of the transmission properties of light guide materials and the determination of their influence on light color properties. The measurement system is helpful in measuring the influence of material mixtures on optical material properties. Like so, color coordinates as well as the shifts can be determined and optimized. This allows the precise controlling of production processes. These measurement quantities are also the basis to communicate material properties to customers in the automotive industry. Measurement system TFCT25 was developed by Gigahertz Optic for specific requirements of light guide testing in automotive industry. A training is available together with a measurement setup. A member of the Gigahertz Optic team visits you on site, helps with system assembly and explains measurement conduction in detail. System delivery includes a quick start guide in English language. This guide can be translated into a language of choice on inquiry. System production, calibration and service are made in Germany. They are available from one single source. Contact one of our worldwide distributors for more information. 
We are happy to provide technical details and answers to your questions. If you require further details, do not hesitate to contact us. We are available from Monday through to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can reach us during these office hours personally via phone or email. Get more information about our complete product range online at gigahertz-optic.com.